The Last Jedi is a great movie all about behavioral economics, but how is that possible and what is behavioral economics? We'll find out right now. Welcome fellow comicists, my name is Greg, where learning economics is as easy as watching a movie. This scene in The Last Jedi is all about behavioral economics. But before we can actually dive into that, let's see how we get to this scene. At the beginning of the movie, the Resistance is trying to escape the First Order, and Poe leads an ill-advised, futile attack against the First Order's fleet, and he ends up losing the entire bombing fleet from the Resistance. They're able to jump to light speed, but they quickly find out that the First Order can track them. The First Order comes in 30 seconds after they have come out of light speed, and they attack. Leia is put into a coma, and now the decisions are put on Vice Admiral Holdo. And the problem is, is that they don't have a lot of time because, well, they're running out of fuel. They only have about 18 hours left. So right now, they have to decide how are they going to allocate their time in the most efficient way that will lead them to survival, which is actually an economy, the allocation of scarce resources, with the scarce resource being time. When Finn tries to escape, he is stopped by newcomer Rose, an engineer, and they come up with an idea on how to stop the First Order from tracking them so they can escape. And they propose this idea to Poe, who is already kind of a hothead and is already distrusting of Vice Admiral Holdo, who refuses to tell him what the plan is because, guess what? The guy just lost them all of their bombers, so maybe he should just shut up and follow orders. And now we're to the scene that displays behavioral economics, so let's get into that. What is behavioral economics? It is the study of economic decisions and specifically looks at cognitive reactions, psychological reactions, and societal reactions on how people make decisions when they make an economic choice. And there are three main themes that come up with behavioral economics. There is heuristics, which is basically like mental shortcuts. We think of them as like rule of thumbs. There is also framing, which is basically people's anecdotal experiences to justify what their decisions are. And the third theme is market inefficiency. So when people allocate resources, they do it in a very inefficient way. So let's take a look at what the plan is that they come up with. Their plan is to find a code breaker and then bring that code breaker back to the resistance, sneak aboard the main first order ship, this, and then break into the tracking device, disable it, that'll only work for six minutes and then the resistance needs to jump off to light speed. You wanna know what might be a little bit more efficient than doing that? Maybe going off and finding your allies to come help. Maybe another option is to get more fuel so that you have more time to come up with a solution instead of feeling like you're under a lot of pressure. Behavioral economists find that when people are under an immense amount of pressure, they tend to make these irrational choices. And that is exactly what is happening here. This is an irrational, inefficient choice. Finn and Rose are framing this device based on their own anecdotal experiences. The fact that Finn used to mop the floors on this ship and Rose is an engineer, they think that this is the best solution to the problem. And then finally, they are taking little mental shortcuts, right? They are thinking that this is the hero thing to do. This is the clever thing to do. So this hits all of the three main themes of behavioral economics. These decisions would drive somebody like Adam Smith, the father of capitalism, insane. And when Finn and Rose decide to go off and find this code breaker on Canto Bite, we are actually shown who the villains are. And they're the traditional capitalists which are people who are profiting off of the war. Whether they're selling weapons to the resistance or to the first order, they're the rich ones, which is why Rose calls these people the worst people in the galaxy. And yet our heroes are the ones making the irrational, inefficient market choices on how they want to allocate their time. Poe makes the most inefficient and illogical behavioral economic choice by leading a mutiny against Vice Admiral Holdo when she says it's time to abandon ship which is part of her logical plan the whole time, which is to escape onto these ships and go to a planet where there is a base where they can radio for more help and stay safe. And Finn and Rose's plan, it totally falls apart. So when they all get back together, they have to reconcile with the fact that the choice that they made was wrong and that when they get into these situations, they have to make the more logical economic choice when they are allocating their resources and time. And these economic lessons in Star Wars are all over, not just in The Last Jedi, but also in The Mandalorian, which talks about currencies and what can we do when a currency loses value. And you can check that video out right here next week on this channel, and I'll see you there.